we proceed to our next question still on trigonometry question number 4 we are told to solve solve the equation 4 sin x equals to 5 minus 4 cos cos squared x but we are told for the for angles between 0 degrees x is less than or equal to 0 degrees and the same x x is greater than or equal to 0 degrees and the same x is less than or equal to 360 degrees when you meet such a question first of all you smile because it's, it's an easy solve the first thing you do you are going to use trigonometric identities again it's in your four figure mathematical tables so the identity that we are going to use here is cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals to 1. Why are we introducing the identity? Because we have two different unknowns. We have cosine and we have, we have cosine and we have sine. So we want to make them uniform by replacing cos squared x with a value of sine x. Therefore from this you can easily say that cos squared x equals to 1 when sine squared x crosses the other side becomes minus sine squared x. Therefore, from our initial equation, replace cos squared x with 1 minus sine squared x. So we have 4 sine x equals to 5, 5 here, minus 4 into the value of cos squared x, we've said here is 1 minus sine squared x then we open it we open the brackets we expand it that is 4 sine x equals to 5 minus minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 then minus 4 times minus sine squared x is plus 4 sine squared x remember i told you minus times minus is plus then from here we can take the, we can collect the like terms together so we have four, four, we have this side, if 4 sine x crosses the other side, it becomes 0, becomes 0, equals to 5 minus, 5 minus 4 is 1, plus, this is 4 sine squared x, then remember we've brought this on the other side, so when it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative 4 sine x. So when we rearrange this mathematically just to make it look neat, you say 4 sine squared x minus 4 sine x plus 1 equals to 0. Then this we will let, let sine x equals to y. We want to further simplify this. Therefore, 4 times sine squared x is sine x times sine x. When you multiply sine x, is y you replace with y times again sine x which is y minus 4 sine x which is y plus 1 equals to 0. This gives us 4 y times y is y squared minus 4 times y is 4y plus 1 equals to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation we just factorize this. So look for two numbers again. When you multiply them, it gives you 4 times 1, which is 4. When you multiply the two numbers, let's say a times b gives you 4. And when you add them, it gives you negative 4. So the two numbers here are negative 2 and negative 2. Therefore, when you expand this, when you factorize this, it becomes 4y squared minus 2y minus 2y plus 1 equals to 0. Then we collect the like terms. What is common here is 2y. So 2y into, 2y goes into 4y squared, 2 goes into 4 times, 4, 2 times. Then y goes into y squared, y times, minus 2 goes into 2y once close the bracket. What is common here 
is 1, minus 1. So you put minus 1, minus 1 goes into minus 2y, 2y times. Then minus 1 goes into plus 1, minus 1, equals to 0. So we have this and this being common. So we collect them together, 2 minus 2y minus 1. And again, take this. When they are common, you only pick 1. 2y minus 1. Then again, you take 2y here. Then with this minus 1, you equate to 0. So in our case, 2y minus 1 equals to 0. And again, 2y minus 1 equals to 0. So it's the same. So therefore, 2y minus 1 equals to 0. From here, you say... 2y equals to, when 1 crosses the other side becomes 1. Therefore, y equals to a half. You divide everything by 2 by 2. So y is equal to a half. Remember, we said sin x to be equal to y. Therefore, at sin x, you replace it with a half. So you write sin x equals to a half. So, we say sin x equals to a half. We look for an angle, look for an angle whose sign equals to a half. Which angle is that from the book or from the calculator, from the mathematical book or from the calculator? That angle is 30 degrees. Therefore, you come again and write, you draw your, the quadrant circle. In the circle, we said, all Christians, say with me, terrorizing Satan. So the angle is 30 degrees. But this time around it's positive. When it's positive, sine is in the second quadrant. So sine is positive in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant only. But it's negative here and negative here. Therefore, in the first quadrant, theta equals to 30 degrees. But in the second quadrant, if we have our 30 degrees here, what will be the remaining angle here? Is 180 minus 30, which is 150 degrees. Then suppose we want to make one full rotation. We add 360 here, you'll get 390. And then add 360 here, you'll get uh, 510. Eh? You'll get 510. But remember, we were told to give our answer that theta, theta is greater than or equal to zero and is less than or equal to 360 degrees. Therefore, we restrict our answer to be within these limits. So 390 is out of the limit and 510 is out of the limit. So our theta equals to 30 degrees and our theta equals to 150 degrees. As easy as this. Our next question is on SADS. We are told that's question number five. Eh? Question five. We are told to simplify one plus root three into one minus root three. This is SADS. One plus root three into one minus root three. One minus root three these sides are conjugate of one another. Therefore, you just expand it. When you expand it, you write 1 into 1 minus root 3 plus root 3 into 1 minus root 3. 1 times 1 is 1 minus 1 times root 3 is root 3 plus root 3 times 1 is root 3. Then plus times minus is minus. Root 3 times root 3, just multiply what's inside the roots. That is root 9. Therefore, 1 minus root 3 plus 3 is 0. It's the same as 3 minus root 3 minus root 3, which is 0 minus root 9. 1 minus root 9 is 3. You get 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Then, you are told to simplify this and hence evaluate, and hence evaluate, evaluate 1 divided by 1 plus 
root 3. So when you are told to evaluate this, number one, rationalize the denominator by multiplying this value with its conjugate. So when you multiply this with its conjugate, you multiply by, the conjugate is just the same value, but the sign changed. So it is you multiply by 1 minus root 3, then the, the denominator is also 1 minus root 3. So the numerator, we have 1 minus root 3. But remember, 1 plus root 3 into 1 minus root 3 is the same as 1 plus root 3 into 1 minus root 3. And when we solved it, we got minus 2. So you divide this value by minus 2. So, hence evaluate to three significant figures, given that root 3, we've also been given that root 3 equals to 1.73 to 1. So you only replace where there is root 3, you replace 1.73 to 1. So where there is root 3, we have 1 minus root 3 is 1.73 to 1. Divide by minus 2. 1, solve the numerator alone, 1 minus 1.73 to 1, you get minus 0 0.73 to 1. Divide by minus 2. This goes with that. Therefore, we divide this. You use a calculator. Or we can just divide 0 here, 0 point, 0, 2 goes into 7 3 times, which is 6, remainder 1 into 13 6 times, which is 12, 12 remainder 1 into 12 6 times, into 1 0, 5. So they want us to get our value to three significant figures. So you stand here from where there is the decimal point, you count 1, 2, 3. Where 3 is, that is our answer, 0 0.366. Suppose they wanted to four significant figures, this is our answer, we are done with it. Suppose they wanted this answer to four significant figures, then you move 1, 2, 3, 4. So when 4 is there, you look at the next number. When the next number is 5 or more than 5, then it adds a value to zero. The value that it adds is only one. So the answer becomes 0 0.3661. This is to four significant figures. This is to three significant figures.